All right, this is exciting. All right, this is Jen Swift of WellCraftStudio.com and one of your co-hosts of the Cricket Adventure Summit. Again, I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming and adventuring with us. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and kind of unpack sort of how to use the Google Drive and the images and get them into Cricut Design Space in this video. So I am already here over on the sidebar in Tuesday's workshops, and I've opened up Amy's uh, faux leather camper keychains, which and earrings, which are so dang cute. I can't believe it. Um, so this is when you click on one of these in the sidebar, this is what you're going to see is the workshop page. Now, what we're concentrating on in this particular video is this big, huge blue button where it says how to download the workshop templates, the printable supply list and workshop or workbook. So we're going to go ahead and click on that image. And that is going to, oops, there we go. That is going to take us into Google Drive. So this is the Google Drive folder for Amy's workshop. And what you're going to find in this file is you're going to find a image, which is just an image of Amy's workshop project. And that's just for your own reference. Um, it's not for you to do anything with right now. It's just for you to have so you can look at this and kind of say, oh, yeah, that's what they look like. Those are super cute. I do want to make those. And then right to the right of here is the printable packing list as long as well as the step by step. Um, again, if you are VIP, you're going to find all these for each of the workshops um, for your convenience. We've bundled them together as well into a workbook that you can download. Um, but for each individual workshops, we also broke it up and we have the packing list and the step by step right here in a PDF. Now there's going to be two folders here, a blue one and a purple one. The blue one says click here for zip files and here for unzip files. Now these are the exact same files, so you choose one or the other. You don't need both of them. They're not different. Um, this is just a convenience thing again because some people prefer zipped files and some people prefer unzipped files. But again, they are the same files. So we're going to go into the unzipped files and click on that. And you'll see here where this is what's in the folder. So this has a keychain um, design, SVG design. It has the earring SVG design. And then it has something about these files. So this is something that you want to read that the, the um, tour guide wrote up for you. For some of you, if you're doing the VIP, pro, um, this might include this, the um, commercial license information. So um, for using these, because that is a VIP bonus. Um, okay, so we've got the keychains and we've got the earrings. So let's just go ahead and click on these. And I'm going to right click and it brings this up and I'm going to say download. All right. So now it's downloaded it to my computer, to my hard drive. Um, and so what I can do now is I will find it over in my downloads here. So I'm going to go over to Cricut Design Space and open that up. All right, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. We've got a new canvas and we're going to go and we're going to upload those designs. So I'm going to say upload here and then I'm going to go to upload image. And that's going to bring me to this big gray screen where we have the option to drag and drop or browse. I always do browse because um, drag and drop just isn't always reliable. So let's go ahead and grab those downloads. Okay, so I'm in my file downloads and I found my vintage camper. I'm going to say open and that's going to bring it in as a cut image because it is, is an SVG image. So Cricut right away knew it was a cut image and we're going to say upload. And that's going to bring it into the uploaded images gallery. So now all I need to do is click on it here and say add to canvas and it'll import it right into my design. Okay, so this actually came in at the right size, which is great. Um, and it came in with the layers all attached um, or grouped. And so um, everything looks really great here. So we really don't have to do anything with this. Um, sometimes you do have to resize things and in the workshop, the tour guide is probably going to walk you through how to do that and what else you might need to do with the design before you can cut it. Okay, so that is kind of how to bring in an SVG design. So now let's just go back through and we're going to grab a PNG design, which is a little bit different. Okay, so we are back over at the course platform and we've got all the workshops over here again on the left. And I found the waterproof toiletry labels by Steck. Stephanie Paxman of Crafting the Rain. And there Stephanie is, and don't you just love that outfit? I just think it's so cute. Okay, so you gotta make sure you watch that, but then right here is what we're looking for right now, which is the how to download the workshop templates, the slide supply list, that big 
blue button again. So we're going to click on the big blue button and that's going to take us to Stephanie's folder in Google Drive. Now again, we're going to have the image, which is just for your reference, so you guys can see what that looks like, the project, and then there's the PDF, which is the packing list, and then the step-by-step -step as well, but just for her project. Now up here, again, are the blue is the blue folder and the purple folder. Um, the blue is the zip file, the purple is the unzipped, and again, it's the exact same pro or templates in both. So that's just for your convenience. So we're just going to click the purple one, which is the unzipped, and open that up. And what you'll see here is we've got the labels and are the PNGs. And what this is, is these are two different files that she's given us. Um, and I'm, she'll show how to like work with these in the workshop. But what I just wanted to show you guys today is that it has a, a checkered background. Now that checkered plat background, if you're new to print and cut, just means transparent. And that will not print or cut with a check <laughs> checkered background. Um, again, it's just a design thing. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And, oh, I could have like right clicked it and then I could have downloaded it, but this is actually a good reason I clicked it. And now over here up in the corner, so this is just another way of doing the download. So we're gonna say download. And there we've got it on our computer. Okay, so let's go back into Cricut Design Space. And then we're back on our canvas that we were at before. And now we're just gonna go upload here. And we're gonna go back to that upload image and we're going to go back to this screen and we're gonna go grab our design from downloads. Okay, so I'm back in my messy downloads here and I've got the floral labels. So I'm gonna say open and there we've got it. So it brought it in now, it's so Cricut knew the difference between cut image and print and cut image. And so we've got it uploaded as an image right now. So now we have to process it. And this is desktop if you're using mobile, um, you're not gonna see, you're not gonna have this option of selecting the image type. Um, and if you have questions about how to do things with the mobile um, iOS app or the tablet or the um, mobile, um, Joa Crandall has a workshop or an excursion on day one that will show you guys kind of how to work with that. So that's gonna be really convenient for you. Um, but for right now, this is what it looks like on desktop if you were to bring your image in. So what you'll wanna choose is complex because anytime you do print and then cut, um, you want to choose complex because Cricut will like, it will collect the, the most information from the design and keep as much detail as possible. So that's a huge tip. Um, you can see here where, remember how I said it was a transparent background? Uh, if you look close, you can see that checker again. And so this is again, um, with a print and cut, this is what you want is to have that checkered background. So we're gonna say apply and continue. And then Cricut's gonna give us the choice of a cut image or a print and cut image. If you click on it, then that'll put the green border around it that shows that you selected the print and cut image. Um, one thing that's giving us the option with over here is to add to a collection if you wanted to do that. Um, just kind of a quick tip, but when I go ahead and do some kind of event like this, I like to create a collection for the event right here in Cricut Design Space so that I can like reference later that, oh yeah, this is one of the designs I picked up in Cricut Adventure. So we're gonna say upload. And it's processing and it's bringing us right straight back to that same uploads file. Um, I actually did this once already. I didn't actually import it twice right now. It just imported once, but I had it selected or I have done this twice. So you'll only have one. <laughs> So there's the one. So we're going to click on it to select it. And then we're going to say add to canvas. And it's going to import it. Now you can see here where it actually imported it larger than it's probably going to need to be for these um, for the little containers. And so that happens with print and cut a lot. It's where it's kind of, um, it's not easy to, or it's not easy for Cricut to bring things in at the correct, like the right size like it is with an SVG. So the, the workshop tour guide is gonna go through and probably walk you through how to size this appropriately for your project. So yeah, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, that's all it is. And that's how you bring in an SVG and that's how you bring in a PNG or a, a JPEG or any other kind of image file, um, which really is just the JPEG or an a PNG. But mostly for print and cut designs, you're working with PNGs. So that's how you bring that file in. And then this again was how you brought in the SVG. So I hope that that was super, super helpful for you guys. And um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to take the tour guide in the Facebook group. Um, they're more than happy to help you with this. 
Thanks again for joining us at Cricket Adventure, and I'm so glad that you chose us today.